Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Situate Weekly, the first and only news talk television show that showcases this great town of Situate. I'm Seth B. She's Brianna T. He is uh, Andrew C., mm -hmm. freshly minted adult Andrew C., uh, oh, C correct. I should say. Yeah. Big 18. Keep forgetting about that. There you go. All right, folks, this is what we're going to do. We're going to talk headlines. We're going to talk people in the news. And, of course, we're going to talk Situate drama. Love and it. We've got plenty of that. So here's how it's going to work. We're going to always start with headlines, so let's get right to it. Here's what we're talking about, and it's what everybody is talking about, this crazy, crazy weather, right? And it's not going anywhere. No, it's never going to stop. No, it's not. So here's the deal, folks. Um, AccuWeather, if you follow them at all, they say that essentially March is going to feel like February for this while. Sweet. Something to do with the jet storms. Yeah, there, there you go, the jet storms. Something to look forward to. Um, let's back up, though, and talk about when all of this started back in January with which storm? Grayson. Grayson, there you go. Did you know that? No. What? They have names. Did you know? Yes. Yeah, so here's a big game with Grayson. The then became Hunter. Then um, Hunter. Yep. R yep. Riley and Quinn. Yep. No way. Well, you oh. missed the other ones in between. Jackson, Kalani. Are these just Liam. one or like these, well, these, So the deal is with these storms is that when they form, they all get names. Now, obviously, the ones that impact us most, we remember. So Riley. So yeah. So you remember yeah. you well first came uh, Quinn. Do you remember Quinn? I think we remember Quinn. There's Quinn, been a, like a lot of storms which one lately. Is Quinn. Quinn. Uh, he was before Riley, obviously to go alphabetically. Clearly QRS. Didn't, really yeah, didn't do too much. Um, yes. But R Riley yeah. is obviously the one. Skyler will be next. Just so it know. alternates boy and girl. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yes. Um, all right. By the way, they get the, Riley is derived from Riley, which comes from the old Irish name. I can't pronounce that. You're Irish. Rafi. <laughs> well right. done. Our, well our done. resident Irish person. Uh, yeah. All right. But the thing is with Grayson, Grayson's still making headlines. Why? Because the guy from it was honored. Correct, Brianna? Yeah. So someone, um, kind of a local Situate celebrity, Stephen Hill, who's the general manager here at the Mill Wharf in Situate, was actually honored at a Celtics game the other day. Really? Um, yeah, really. Um, he was... Yes, you can. This is a picture of him. I didn't know this. Really? No. Uh, okay. I worked at the Mill Wharf. No way. I was a bus boy. Fascinating. Yeah. Well, he was honored as part of the Celtics Heroes Among Us program, um, which is sponsored by the Mass State Lottery. But basically, they like called him up. He was nominated by his brother. Um, they gave him four tickets for him and his brother and his two kids. Um, they called him down on the court and kind of talked about him. He got a standing ovation. Look at all those people in there. Wow. And they talked about him for a full minute and a half. That's a long time Good to stuff. be on the court. Um, and, he and, and he didn't know, right? That's and he, he didn't even know he was nominated. But basically, I don't think I even said this yet, he was nominated because during Winter Storm Grayson, um, he was working at the Mill Wharf and he saw the Harbor Master, Stephen Moan, fall into the water and he actually saved his life. So definitely well deserved. Absolutely. Um, absolutely a hero among us, and congratulations to Stephen Hill. Well done, well done. Mm -hmm. um, you know, also with these storms, there's a lot of discussion um, about owning a house on the beach. It's now, tough. You live, you live right do. by the water. Yeah, I live on the beach. It's right on Minot Beach, but. Uh, so the, the, it's, the balancing out. Does it's it? worth it in the summer, but then. Uh, I wouldn't do it. You wouldn't do it? Well, I don't like the summer in general, so. I don't like heat. How do you live here? <laughs> oh, that wasn't my choice to live here. <laughs> um, but during, like, not, I'm not sure what the last Nor'easter's name was, but I think it was the the one where you went out and frolicked in the Riley? water. Oh, yeah, wait, wait, wait. Let's, let's talk about that. Wasn't there a travel ban in effect? Yeah. And, and Whoa. So? So? <laughs> well, let's roll some of that video, yeah. if you will. Well, exactly. What was going through your mind when you went out? Did you see police trying to chase you down or anything? Uh, one cop pulled in at the boat uh, marina. And so I had to cut it short because he just pulled into the parking lot and just kind of pulled near us. So I kind of got in the car. And nice. Just left. It. Yeah. Nice. Thanks uh, for journalism. Yeah, you know. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Bit of press bash. Uh, the other <laughs> thing with these storms is that, you know, we've talked about you, we a lot of, you've been out of school forever. Oh, yeah. Um, and yeah, like awesome. the, the town, the town is really shut down, but there are a lot of people who can't. Um, on Facebook, there's this mm -hmm. great, uh, there's this Good great video. video of a uh, postal worker arriving. Let's see where this is. So essentially the story is like, look, even though a lot, most of us can sort of take the days off and everything, some people still have to go to work. From my workers. Um, yeah, it's Mark the Mailman. It's uh, <laughs> Beth posted this on Facebook. It's just good stuff. But it shows him just kind of walking up and going, still making it happen, you know? What, what's their tagline? In the, oh, in yeah, the rain, no, no. in the snow. Worked. My dad was a postmaster, yeah. I should know this. Gloom of night, something Gloom like that. Gloom of night. I, I, did I make that up? <laughs> rain, snow, uh, I forget. Uh, I'm telling you, it's gloom of night. Well, but. Like, aside, whether or not you like it or not, the good news is, with all this weather, Situate is making national headlines. 
thanks to Time Magazine. Look at this photo here. Mm -hmm. It shows the aftermath of uh, the storms. You have that up there? Um, um, let me find but it. But look at this picture. So it shows like all the water, but it's also cool to look at the before, what it should look like without <laughs> that water. So that's pretty good. Well, so yeah. hey, there's the, there's the silver lining of this weather, right? National headlines. Oh yeah. So check that out. Hey, speaking of national headlines, um, uh, we got to talk about the uh, gun violence and the walkout that's been happening around her. In fact, Situate High School just did theirs last week. You were there. Mm -hmm. You, shot, you shot some video. Yeah. How, how was that? How many, yeah. a, lot, a big turnout, right? Yeah, half the school went out. I think I believe 50%. So wow. right on Citro Monthly. And what, what happened? I mean, it was... Uh, it was uh, there were 17 minutes of silence, and every minute they read one of the victims from Parkland... Uh, name. The Parkland shooting's name, yeah. Yeah. And, That's really and nice. after that, they gave two speeches, and then they sang a song at the end. And then you all came back? Yes. Good. I think it was really nice you guys said that. Cool, yeah. Yeah, there was a lot of, you know, there were a lot of, um, I think, residents in Situate actually that wanted to go to this yeah, as well. Yeah, it's on Monthly. Like, but they, they I, don't, I don't think they could get in, right? The mm. police were blocked. They were saying it's a student event. You couldn't get in. Tight, I, I couldn't tight perimeter to get mm -hmm. onto this campus mm -hmm. that day. By the way, did you see any individuals from the NRA? Do you know what they were doing? The NRA was telling people to go to these events to film it because they wanted to make sure it was student uh, oriented student organized, organized yeah. and led like they were so they said if there are any teachers or any parents anyone that's encouraging students to get out there to get them on film so you didn't see any there i didn't see any nra members <laughs> i don't know were there were there like adults they didn't they Cam have cameras and hats or something uh, maybe i saw a few <laughs> strangers but I saw a lot of teachers and all the kids. Yeah. So anyway, there's still a lot That's of chatter. There's still a lot of chatter about that, and will be a lot of chatter about yeah, that. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, speaking of high school kids, hey, we got to give a shout out to uh, SCTV's very own Ellie Monger and your sister. And my sister, what's, what's Maria Trefiero. Um, so this story is actually really cool. Um, Ellie and Maria are a part of this club at Citroen High School called DECA, um, which is basically a business-oriented club in a class here. Um, and they kind of progressed through the system, going from districts to state competition. And Maria and Ellie were actually two of the very first four people to ever qualify for the international competition um, this spring in Atlanta, Georgia. So we want to give them a quick shout out and congratulations and a good luck um, at internationals. Well done, well done, keep it up. All right, moving on, it is the biggest annual event in Situate and one that our good friend Andrew just recently learned about in his 18 years of existence. <laughs> Town meeting. I thought you were talking, I thought you were gonna do the parade. Oh, that I the, thought that was the St. Patrick's Day parade. I thought that was the that was, uh, main that was this weekend. You 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 knew about the St. Patrick's Day parade, but you did not know about town meeting. Yeah. Okay, so here's the definite here's that you are you're like, what is this? <laughs> I thought the biggest event was the parade. <laughs> the, the, the general purposes are to establish an annual operating budget and to consider amendments or revision to town bylaws or policies, including the management of finances. Ooh, all right. Um, but let's cut to the chase here. The big thing. Oh, the big ticket item this the year. The senior center, you know it's coming. Everyone's going to get there. So essentially, here's what happens at these things. The town gets together and votes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's not anything. just a selectman No, the selectmen are there. No, the, no. the advisory board is there. The school committee's there. Planning and it's all, uh, well, they'll be in the audience. School sure committee. Well. Everyone goes, at least. Now, and it's all. Superintendent goes, too? Yeah. yeah. And it's all overseen by a moderator, so an outside source. Who's um, the moderator? His name is uh, Richard, and we have some video from him last year. Now, the best, I mean, he's hard. I mean, he kees this thing rocking and moderating. And, and, and the, you know, they do the whole Q&A session. And, like, if people are getting out of line, he just shuts them down right away. He's good. He keeps and it goes till past midnight? Ooh. Sometimes. I think this one, with there's been so much, like, buzz about the senior center. Mm -hmm. It's quite possible. Yeah. yeah. Now, there's, have you heard the new plan? About the senior center? Yeah, uh, where they're going to put it? So, you know, they had multiple places. The Driftway, so I remember the, the library, the select and meeting, Gates. They said they would oh. do Gates. Yes. Yep. So Gates, yep. is, Gates right now is where it is. But again, this has to go to town town meeting where we voted. But there's still a debate going on about if it goes to Gates, what where, to, at where Gates, yeah. that property should it go. Because you know how Gates has that big, like, backyard? Yeah. That's backyard. where they were going to... Backyard. Uh, do, do schools have backyards? Yeah. The That's where they were going to put thing. it. Yeah. But I think the biggest I like thing that is, turf, But the biggest issue, I think, is that is taking down gates. You know, and the that's the new plan, it's yeah. Historical. Well, I a think they want to keep the like the face kind of, but get rid of like the a, B and the a C and way. C. B and C. Right. The it's A, a no, way. No, B's the middle one, the yep. building. Yep. They but they want the face of it. But yeah, like where the library is, you know. They want to take that down? Yeah. Yeah. 
that's the new plan. Oh, no way, you don't like it? But I thought, that's, I thought the people like the middle part, the, the face. Isn't that B wing? Can you keep like the front of a building? Well, I don't know well, why. That's, uh, they were saying that architects could come in and recreate the look of it. Mm. So that's more money. Yeah. <laughs> Hence why this meeting is so that go. So we should all go to town meeting, obviously. I know, you should go. You're an adult now. You have to you register to vote, but. Can I vote? Oh, yeah, when can I register to vote? I just go to town hall right now and just say I want to register to vote. Yeah, and we have a video of it on the Citroen Community TV YouTube if you want to check it out. Yeah. How to vote. Yeah. Like that's how a to great little, That's vote. a great little piece for you to do, to get out there and show how you registered to vote. You okay. Again. Yeah, sure. <laughs> all right. What all else? Right. Uh, sure, what else are we talking about? That? What else we got going on? Um, we talked about that senior center. Uh, oh, real quick, so Morning Glories. We know this story's been making the rounds for a while, but now the whole debate is there was originally think it was going to be a KFC, they were thinking, now maybe a Popeyes. You have your two options. What do you pick? Popeyes or KFC? For situate, neither. But, um, Andrew, what do you think? I do. Well, which one would be open longer? Uh, good point. Same hours, Andrew. So, would it be 24 hours? No. <laughs> yeah. Then it doesn't really matter. No, it doesn't. All right, think about that. If I need to go somewhere at 2 in the morning, I'd rather it be a KFC. You should be asleep at 2 in the morning. There you go. Not on a Saturday. (laughs) All right, folks, those are our headlines there. Let's talk about the week ahead. What's coming up next week, Brianna? All right, let's pull it up. But next week we have a few meetings. There's a Board of Health meeting on Monday. Um, Tuesday we'll have another Selectman meeting. We're in the. How about those Selectmen? Yeah. The amount of hours they put in. The peak of budget season right now, guys. Mm. Andrew films a lot of those meetings for us. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're long. They're definitely long. It was five hours the last one. Good stuff. Okay. I came up with, why don't they do it like on a Saturday, like a noon to five? It's good. Well, why, that you, you can go to the select meetings and, 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 you know. Bring it up. They won't listen Let your to voice be heard. <laughs> they won't listen to me. <laughs> yeah. well, Not else? until you register to vote. Yes. And then the last one, um, we have a waterways meeting coming up on Wednesday. Good. Check those out. Hey, the waterways moves a little. They go usually they at the move Maritime around. Center, but so if you go yes. there, right? I think lately, definitely check their agenda, but um, they're either in the Maritime Center or or the Stellwagen Bank um, NOAA building. It was there last time. I got lost trying to get there. Hmm. I've yeah, also made the point. same exact I, uh, mistake. I, could, I didn't have any service to go on my Google Maps, and so there you go. So if you're going to go there, keep that out. Keep that in mind, folks. Exactly. And look for that. All right, that wraps up our first block. We're going to take a break, but we got a ton more coming up. we got our business of the week, pet of the week, and, of course, the situate social scene. You do not <laughs> want to miss that. We will be right back. Welcome back to this dog and pony show we call Situate Weekly. We talk Situate headlines, people in the news, and Situate drama. I'm Seth P. She's Brianna T. And this shock of red hair in the middle is Andrew C. Shock. Shock of red hair, my friend. All right. Uh, let's talk um, the way we watch TV. So, you know, we were talking about the storms earlier, and the, during the break we mentioned this, too. Is that, you know, like back in the day, you really had to, like, tune into the news. Like, it was appointment TV yeah. to find out what was going on in the world anytime something was happening. But now, I mean, with so many devices, everything has changed you know like oh, Apple TV, amazon fire sticks and you have some illegal what? method you've rigged up right oh, oh, what? Right. we're not supposed to talk about, that. Not supposed to talk about that. i don't even know what you're talking about <laughs> you don't want to talk about that folks but listen we sent you out to do a little investigating right correct do you stream or do you watch cable what do you do i'm an apple tv boy apple so tv streaming. all the way streaming yeah. i don't even know what apple tv is but anyways i use amazon prime and okay. that's another option so, yeah and my parents use cable hmm. so it's good so that was very interesting uh generation gap a little bit so we sent andrew out to do some investigating to see how you watch tv if you do at all take a look here 
you can tune in this wonderful new Westinghouse television set with just one hand like this because it has the sensational new Westinghouse single dial control. There's no more fussing with several dials. You just turn this one dial and you're tuned in perfectly. What kind of color TV can you get right now for just $499? How about a 100% solid state modular chassis? Largest picture tube on the market. Speakers on both sides of the screen. Easy one button tuning. All for just $499 right now at Ward's. If you can find a color TV with these features for less money, buy it. It is television by cable. A communications revolution that could radically alter our way of life. It could save you trips to the bank, the post office, the psychiatrist, even the music teacher. This young lady is at home taking a music lesson by cable television. Her teacher is in a television studio. He can hear her and talk to her individually. Or he can talk simultaneously to many students in their own homes. Cable TV began 20 years ago to serve people in fringe or rural areas where rooftop antennas were inadequate. Residents were willing to pay a cable installation charge and a monthly fee for the service. And the cable industry was happy to deliver a product that cost them nothing, free television programs. Want to know how people are feeling about the Comcast cable sale? Right now, you can get up to 70 channels with Comcast cable. That means more movies, sports, and programs for your kids. Who watches cable anymore? Cable is becoming a dying business. Sure, a lot of people still watch TV, but they're using websites such as Netflix, Amazon Prime, and Hulu. I went around asking people of all age groups if they still watch cable, or do they prefer the streaming sites such as Netflix. Here are the results. Do you watch cable TV? Yes. Really? Yeah, I do. I watch it. Do you watch streaming services like Amazon or Netflix? I do. I do. I watch cable more though. Do you think cable's dying? I definitely do think cable is dying. Uh, Netflix and like Amazon Prime all climb to the top, Hulu, all that good stuff. Do you watch cable TV anymore? No, not really. Do you watch streaming services like Netflix or Amazon Prime? A little bit, here and there. What do you prefer? Netflix. Really good. Do you think cable's dying? Oh, it's dead. No one watches it anymore. Um, I don't watch like TV on time. If I watch cable TV, I'd watch like on demand. You watch Amazon Prime or Netflix? Do you just stream movies and TV shows? Yeah, sometimes I'll watch Netflix. Rare. I don't really watch a lot of TV anymore. What do you prefer to get all your TV shows? Definitely Netflix. Definitely. Do you think cable's dying? Yeah, I think it's in the same boat as radio and they're just kind of sinking together. We're here with Mr. Larea, a substitute teacher here at Situate High School. Mr. So, Larea, do you still watch TV? Once in a while. Do you watch cable TV? I do. Do you watch streaming services such as Amazon Prime and Netflix? Uh, Netflix. What do you prefer of the two? Uh, I, you know, I watch Netflix. I'm not a big TV watcher. There's a couple of shows I watch and that's it. Do you think cable TV's dying? It is. Maybe in about 10 years. It'll be gone. It could be gone. People can't afford it. I mean, my bill's over 200 bucks. <laughs> wow. Thank you, Mr. Lorea. Do you watch cable TV anymore? Yes. Do you watch streaming services such as Amazon and Netflix and Hulu? Yeah, I watch all three of them. <laughs> what do you prefer? Uh, Netflix. So streaming services in general, you just prefer? Yeah, definitely. Do you think cable TV is going to die out at some point? Yeah, definitely. It's a lot of money. Do you guys still watch TV? No. 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 You watch cable TV? No. Sometimes. Well, do you watch streaming services like Hulu or Netflix or Amazon Prime? Yeah. Yeah. How often would you say you watch it compared to cable TV? I think I watch like Netflix every day, but I never watch TV. <laughs> yeah, I watch... Uh like Hulu more than I watch like cable. So do you think cable TV in a sense is dying? Yeah, I'd say that. I'd say it's slowly dying. How long do you think it's got left? Like our generation through. Is it our generation? Yeah, and then like our children won't watch it. Yeah, probably. I think they will watch it for like 
like live events. You think go watch cable though? If they can't go online and just go to a website that has that stream of it. Yeah, I feel like sports you can just stream online yeah, now amazing. on their website, so it's not yeah, worth it. Actually, so I think it is dying. We're in live from Situate High School. It's not live. You, you want to pretend? For no. Months? We're here with Sean McNeil, a junior here at Situate High School. Sean, do you still watch cable TV? Sometimes. You ever seen Cops? No. Yeah. Do you watch streaming services like Netflix or Hulu? Yes. So what is your favorite out of the two? What do you? Whatever has the most newest stuff. Like shows, movies. Do you think cable will die out? Eventually, if the Netflix and other accounts keep getting bigger. I do watch cable TV probably a little bit more than I should. So we are big Netflix and Amazon Prime fans. Uh, I wish cable, if cable were $100 cheaper, I'd be so happy. But I look at our bills at the end of the year and we just pay far too much for cable TV. I'd like to pay a lot less for it. Uh, my boys right now, so my oldest son is eight and my uh, next oldest son is six. And they both are love YouTube, but they watch YouTube on the Xbox. Yoda, do you watch cable TV still? Yes, I do, especially during dinner time. What shows? I like Cops and Predical Jokers because they're funny. Do you watch streaming services such as Netflix and Amazon? Prime? Absolutely. And I use Reddit too for sports streaming. What do you prefer between cable or streaming? I like cable better because I'm old school. Oh, you yeah. Think, you think cable's dying? Yes, a little bit. A little what do you bit. Think it'll be gone by? I said give it another 10 years. I would still watch cable TV. It all depends on what I watch, when I watch it. But what about Netflix and Amazon and Hulu? Do you stream more often now or are you still more as a cable person? I would consider myself a 90% cable, 10% Netflix. Really? Do you yes. think cable's dying out? I think it is. I think there are too many stations that people are sick of searching for that one or two that they really want and they don't want the thousand of stations they could care less. ETA, when do you think cable will die? Uh, probably 2040. 2040. All right, thank you, Mr. Thanks. It appears that most people use a mix of both, both cable television and streaming services, and people think that cable has another 20 or so years until it's officially gone. But as technology grows, more and more people will be going to these streaming services in hope of a better price and better content. So, how long do you think cable has? All right, that's pretty some pretty interesting stuff, right? Yeah. And how fun? I mean, that woman was very specific about when. Yeah. What did she say? Twenty forty or something. Twenty forty. Uh, that seems far that, away, but. That's really not interesting <laughs> stuff. Um, Twenty two years away. Mm, huh. mm, mm. Good, good, quick math there, Andrew. Thanks yeah. for doing that for us. No problem. <laughs> that was a good piece. You guys all seem sorry. Oh, thank you. All right, folks, we're back right after this. We got our business of the week, the house of the week, a pet of the week. Uh, plus, we're gonna have your feedback. Stick around. We'll be right back. All right, everybody, welcome back to Situate Weekly. She is Brianna T., Andrew C., Seth B. here. Let's continue uh, with this show, shall we? And we're going to do our business of the week. What do we got, Brianna? All right, so in the spirit of talking about local heroes, I thought it was only um, fair if we talked about the Mill Wharf Restaurant, um, one of my favorite places in Situate. It's for all of those viewers from Situate watching, you know that it's located in Situate Harbor. They serve lunch and dinner, opening at 1130, seven days a week. Um, 
interestingly enough, I didn't know they did this, but they have jazz breakfast every Sunday morning. That seems brunch. Like, oh, brunch. Love Thank that. you for reading over my shoulder. Um, jazz brunch on uh, Sunday mornings. But um, during the summer months, they also have the raw bar outside on the deck in the patio, and they have like the most beautiful views of Situate. You can see all the way around um, every side of Situate Harbor, and it's definitely one of those like family feel staple for local Situate yeah. business. I'm getting very nostalgic right now. You used to work yeah. there, right? Yes. Bus boy? Yeah. How old were you? I was 14. Oh, look at oh you. that's kind of little. A baby. A baby. A baby. The food is actually pretty good. I kind of miss it. Um, the food is here, good. Now, you know, they, what did they make headlines for? Back in, uh, what, October? Someone took a TV. Yes, do you know the story? Middle pack, wow, how did you know he was going to say that? Packed bar. Because I remember the news story. Yes. Yeah, I do know this. Yeah, 60 inch. Do you have the and they surveillance have the footage? footage? Yeah, well, let's show that real quick. I mean, this guy, it looks like a door he's carrying. Look at that. I mean, it was like a Saturday night, right? Did he return that? I, I do kind of remember they, the story. They caught him from uh, the security cameras, yeah. But Security yeah, cameras, I mean, man. It was, but I don't know how they caught him with that, because it was a pretty... Was it bad? Yeah, the video Blurry? was pretty poor. Uh, wow. Huh. They don't think it was a regular. I mean, did you just have a TV? I did see. They didn't think it was a regular, because what kind of regular would be like, but I'm taking this TV. they didn't catch him. Oh, wait. Uh, they did catch him. They did? Yeah, I remember. Huh. Huh. It was a big story for a while, I remember. Yeah, but that's great. How can you not talk about that? All right, let's move on. Let's talk about our house, home, house of the uh, the week. Right? Okay, so this week, for our first week, it kind of went to the higher end of the spectrum. This is the second most expensive house on the market wow. in um, the town of Situate, currently listed on Zillow. It is a five-bedroom, five-bathroom house. Um, I'm a little biased because it's actually on my street. Oh, how convenient. Um, but it's totally beautiful. It's right on Mina Beach. It looks over the water. Um, you can go on to Zillow to see like the full description. But, Wait, it's, but this goes back to what I was talking about earlier. Do you what? want a house right on the beach when you deal with this? I mean, you, there are a lot of issues. Well, do they get hit as well the pictures, the pictures are all of the summer. Well, of course. I'd you're like not... to see pictures right now. You wouldn't want it. When you buy a house, you're not going to look at what are the They're four feet of snow gone. outside, <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, and most people in Situate, you probably are here for the summers, if I'm guessing. Good point. You come to Situate because you love the weather, you love the beaches. Um, you're not really coming yeah. for the four northeasters, nor'easters, and like and this, a lot of This one has, yeah. a, this has a hot tub. I, it, yeah, it has a hot tub. It has it all. I mean, it has Wait, like. Does a hot tub? Is that like a bonus to you? I think hot tubs like are that. like a. You don't want disease that? pool waiting to happen. I, I went. To, like. uh, I went during the power outage a uh, week and a half ago. We went to a hotel. There was a hot tub. I went in that all yeah. day. You uh, you went in all day? Oh, when I could, yeah. You, Except it was like two degrees too cold, and it was awful. It was a tease. Still in it though. It was still nice. And it's like an outdoor hot tub. Like it's not like it's like someone's bathtub. I'm just saying. Well, it's not people are sharing it. It's not like a hotel. Right, right. Uh, which, I, you, which I was in. <laughs> All right, let's move on, though. Wait, wait, wait. Can we play the game? Let's yeah, of through? course. Okay. That's what All I'm right. moving on to. So I already showed Andrew the picture of this house yeah. that we'll um, show right now on the What's screen. The square footage, 5,100 square Yes, feet. so like 5,200 round up. Oh, look at that garage I'll, in the back. I'll, I'll, send you, I'll show you some more pics. Fireplace, off-street parking, wet bar. You're too young. That's like a <laughs> hotel. Look, this is the outdoor shower. That's a nice outdoor shower. Yeah. I live on the beach. I wish I had a shower. Like, this is the inside. Obviously furnished, but, like, this is a house I'd want to live in. Let me tell All you. All right, Andrew, what How do you much? think? Wow. What's Look, it going they have an outdoor bar. Does it come with that telescope? <laughs> the telescope. Um, right. This telescope is wicked nice, but I'm not sure. All right. That's hot a tub. huge hot tub. Yeah, this is a pretty big hot tub. All right. What's your guess for price, Andrew? Two point. Seven million. You're kind of better at this than I yeah, he saw. Uh, he's so you did crazy. see. I know. I you had to have uh, seen it. I didn't see it. I was going to so guess like two point nine or something. Two point uh, seven nine yeah. five to be exact. All right, there's your house. If I did see it, I would have said the full price. <laughs> there's your house of the week, folks. Uh, all right, one last thing though. We got our pet of the week. Love that. Definitely he's my favorite part of um, this segment. But the animal of the week this week is Moo from the Citrus Animal Shelter. How cute is that name? Moo. So Moo. Where is, do we think that comes from? Well, obviously, he's a black and white pit bull. There you go. He's not a cow. Uh, not a cow, uh, despite popular belief. Um, he's an eight-month-old pit bull, um, and you can read his description online if you go to the Situate Animal Shelter website. Um, but he is super cute and looking for a home, um, hopefully with kids older than 16, because he's not really great with younger kids. He doesn't know his strength yet. How cute is that? He's also a pit bull. Love that. He's also a pit bull, yeah. Um, but if you want to send in any pictures of your dogs, cats, any Absolutely. kind of pets. Send in your animals. We love, I love animals. You got a bird, send us that. I like dogs. Could be our pet you don't like week. other animals? 
Depends what, on the animal. What, what animal have you had in your life? Dogs. No, like guinea pig or anything? No. Ew. Meaning. Rodents. Really? No, I've only had dogs and fish. Hey, if you got a guinea pig, send us your guinea yeah. pig. Yeah. We'll we'll, uh, we don't we'll discriminate. I think I knew people who had chinchillas growing up. That was cool to me. I knew people who had guinea pigs. They're very soft. I don't speak to them anymore. <laughs> Or they don't speak to you. It had nothing to do, it had nothing to do with the guinea pigs. <laughs> Let's talk the situate social scene. It's every all the drama happening online. Twitter, Facebook, Kick, Snapchat. What else we got? Pinterest. LinkedIn. Uh, yeah, is there drama LinkedIn, on there? LinkedIn. There probably is drama. LinkedIn situate, there's drama <laughs> everywhere. All right. What do we have, uh, Brianna? I, I don't even know where to start this week. There is a lot going on on Facebook, let me tell you. Um, we've had a lot of talk about that walkout if we want right. to go back to the beginning. You know beginning. everyone wasn't necessarily pleased with that walkout. No. Know, right? Do you, yeah. do you like follow the situation kind of social yeah, landscape? I know. I yeah, know about you it. You know what's going on on the internet? I think it's funny to read everybody. I find playing. myself getting overwhelmed when I look at situate centered social media oh, yeah. um, especially Facebook because I feel like it's always oh, negative it's hard, hard. Um, especially when it came to the walkout last yeah. week it was I thought it was really cool that the high school was doing it but a lot of people had very very strong mm-hmm. opinions about it and mm-hmm. they did some woman called another woman a Nazi you know yeah wow I, I did see that um, strong language and I think that's social media is great because everyone gets a say yep. but at the same time it's Everyone gets to say, so you got a double-edged sword oh, almost. It's fun yeah. reading those comments. Yeah. yeah. So we had that. What else do we have? Anything uh, worth it's, mentioning? You know what? Honestly, it, everyone's really just doing still the weather stuff. I mean, there are a lot of um, not only people like still posting their pictures, you know, but people are looking for construction workers. They're mm-hmm. like, oh, I need someone to fix my fence. I need someone to fix my outdoor shower, my deck. Some of those pictures are... Some of the pictures are really, honestly, pretty tragic. Yeah, yeah. Um, there are uh, some houses that were just like destroyed. I didn't get destroyed. it. Thank God. This yeah. the one where it was supposed to snow 18 inches. Like my, I was fine luckily. But the storm before that, I had no backyard yeah, because no, it was all water. No, a tree fell on my fence. <laughs> I enjoyed it. I had no damage. I forgot about that. What'd you do about that? Oh, it's still there. Of course, it's still oh. there. Uh, no, you know what the one thing that we have to talk about that everybody on Facebook is talking about? It's that picture. Have you seen this picture? It's this like it's like a senior picture. It's this kid. He doesn't know what to do with his hands. <laughs> hey, that's me. <laughs> what is, what's going on here? Seth asked me if that was your senior, your senior picture. picture. No. Well, is this? Oh, you just do this on your own? You no, some like, friend took a picture. He has the iPhone X, and so uh, he showed me what I could do. So he said pose. So I did. Uh-huh. So I didn't know what to do with my what, hands. Yeah. What, what pose is that? Uh, that's me leaning over. Do you have a senior picture we can show? Mm, I forget what it was. Nice. I have a baby picture I could show. Uh, That's me. Have you taken your senior pictures yet? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I have. Last year. You just don't want to show them. We can sneak through them. Sneak uh, through all, right. all we'll, Andrew's we'll that pictures. On the break. How about that? <laughs> we'll look at all that later. What do we have coming up? Stuff. All right, folks, we'll be back uh, right after this. Good one more picture. block to go. It is your feedback. Stick around. You don't want to miss it. Folks, welcome back to Situate Weekly. It is time for your Hello. feedback. But let's so wait, before we get to that, we were just talking. This picture of you, take a look at this picture of Andrew C. Right. Yeah, hold that up. Do we think you get what? That you look like Barb, Barb from, from Stranger, Stranger Things. Things. Let me get let's the actual... do a little side-by-side. So I love that show, for the record. Do you already have a side-by-side? 
I have it. I'm just pulling up this picture right now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, how do you feel about that when people say that to you? You know, I started off as a joke, but then people really saw the connection too much, and now it just hurts my feelings. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. Kind All of right, like a husky girl don't from the 80s. Don't make that comparison if you see Andrew C. out there. <laughs> All right, folks, time for your oh, feedback. We are taking your emails, your voicemails. First up this week, this premiere, it's from Gary. Gary writes, how can I get my son's upcoming uh, baseball games on TV? Gary, this is a great question. Good and question, Gary. If you didn't know that uh, there is a series called Situate Fandom that you can learn the equipment and actually go film the game yourself. You can do the commentary. You can feature your son as much as you want. You can feature whatever you want. You can even show like the coaches if you don't like them, the refs if you don't like them. Mm-hmm. Oh, you, guys, you guys have done this. Yeah. I did. I did it for I my did, sister. Uh, you did powder puff. Yeah, powder puff. Cool. You've done volleyball. My sister was on the volleyball team here, varsity yeah. volleyball. Yeah. So yeah, I did yeah, that. Yeah. Volleyball is such a hard work to say. Right? Yeah, well, I would go to the games anyway, so I figured, why not? Um, did so you have to go on the highway? <laughs> I would have done it. Uh, yeah, we'll talk about that. Oh, you know what else about the Situate fandom? One of our, we got to give a shout out to our producer, Natalie uh, Talbot. Excellent, uh, very talented producer. She's great. She made an amazing open for that. In fact, why don't we take a quick look at that yeah. real quick? Look why at this. That's some good stuff, isn't it? All right, let's move on. We have another email. This comes from Maggie. She says, I love watching the Situate Seniorities. It's a great show. Linda, Linda Hayes. Love that show. J.D. Uh, Miller. J.D. Miller. Yeah, they get a lot of good guests. Uh, so she says, I like watching it, but I hear music frequently playing in the background. Can't that be turned off? Maggie, excellent, excellent question. Now, you know, a lot of films that air on SCTV are filmed in various locations around the city, or around the town, rather, but the Situate Seniorities films in the high school. And what happens in the high school, Andrew? Music. Uh, yeah. Why does music yeah. play? So music? what happens is, uh, when the bell rings, you have three... <laughs> when, you have bell, when the bell rings, you have three minutes to get to your class. And after two minutes goes by, uh, one minute of a song will start playing. So, basically, that is to show that you have one minute to get to class. And every day it's a different song that a student can go to the office and pick. Huh. Have you ever picked a song? No. No. Never. I never did in high school either. Really? It's cool though. So wait, like you, the music starts playing, do you start booking it to the classroom? You know me, you know, no. Like, <laughs> Why would you even ask? <laughs> right. All right, so that's our feedback. Hey, folks, if you've got some feedback we want to hear from you, send us an email, sctv at situatema.gov. You can also leave us a voicemail, 781-545-8750, extension one. Zero four. I love the voicemails. Yeah. I yeah. love when people call. I've some heard. good stuff. So give that number a shot if you can. Uh, and uh, folks, that's going to wrap it. I think this was a... That was good. All right. What did you think? Do you Pretty really, decent, yeah. Do you really think anyone's going to watch? I hope so. There you go. Hey, let us, <laughs> let us know if you're watching. If not, uh, remember, new episodes air every Monday at 7 p.m. Uh, once again, Brianna T., Andrew C., Seth B. This has been Situate Weekly. We'll see you next week. <laughs>